Years ago, somebody showed me how you can make your own cream cheese. So we're gonna start out with the cheesecloth and some of this plain yogurt. And you gotta get the yogurt that's probiotic, six lab active cultures. Get your cheesecloth, fold it up, and lay it in a strainer inside of another bowl. In another bowl, we're gonna add our live active culture plain yogurt. Now we're gonna dice this up some jalapenos and strawberries. Add your jalapenos to the bowl. Get our strawberries diced up really fine. Then take your knife, and we're gonna kind of mash them kind of into a puree. Add your strawberries. All right, last step, we're gonna add some spicy danos. That's the red top. <laughs> and then some of the black top. That's the crunchy, a little extra crunch. Now it's all mixed together. It's time for the easy part. Simply add your yogurt into the cheesecloth. And the liquid's slowly gonna drain out through the cheesecloth, and in about five or six hours, we're gonna be left with cream cheese. Check it out. All right, Charles, so look at what we got after five hours. They call this whey. Almost a whole cup. Let's try it. It does have a jalapeno strawberry flavor. We're gonna let this continue to drain for another 30 hours or so. We'll see you in a couple days. All right, it's been 48 hours. A little bit more juice, just barely over one cup. Like a really soft cream cheese. It's amazing. Now we got us a couple crispy bagels. We're gonna spread it on thick. Get you a little bit of this Dano's Everything Bagel. That's the crunchy style and enjoy. And that's how you do it, y'all. A yogurt cream cheese. I'm telling you what, this is amazing. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Mmm.